It is the Zach Sang Show. We got Heather, we got Dan, yeah. and I'm so honored. Niall Horan is here. Woo, finally. Oh, look at you up there. Pleasure is all mine. No, <laughs> I just watched you perform two songs, and I am beyond honored. I, you know, the whole time you're performing, I'm soaking in your performance, and I'm thinking, what the hell did I do in my life to deserve you in my studio performing those beautiful records for us? You made Truly. really good radio shows. Uh, no. That's what you did. Wow. And that's why we're all here together. Well, I thank you for taking the time to do it. It really of means course. a lot, man. It must feel good to be able to perform more than just this town, though. Exactly, yeah. I was doing, <laughs> I was doing all this kind of thing before Christmas, and I was... Just monotonous and boring and a real big anticlimax for anyone watching. <laughs> I remember one time I flew to, I think I spoke to you about this before, I flew to Canada for, from LA to, Can to Toronto for all of about an hour. Oh. <laughs> Arrived, did a half a sound check, performed for three and a half minutes, got on a plane and flew back to LA. So it was a bit like Jesus. anticlimactic for me, yeah, more right? so than anyone, to be honest. But that's also like really tiring. Traveling in like 24 hour periods is tiring, but going in and out same day, that could wear on you for only like an hour and a half. Yeah, it's not the first time I've done the whole traveling thing, but um, yeah, it is, you know, just going for one song is probably not the best thing. Now that we've got a few more, it's better. I played a couple of shows this weekend. And yeah. It was great. We're at three right now. We got Slow Hands, obviously, which I think is a smash record. So hey, thanks, pre bud. prepare yourself for that one, man. <laughs> Fingers uh, crossed. Obviously, we have this town, and then we have yeah. On the Loose. You mm. f performing that song for the first time this weekend. Were you nervous at all? How'd you prepare? I wasn't nervous. Um, the way I, I'm, I'm only ever nervous if I'm underprepared, and uh, I try and rehearse as much as I can to make sure that we're we're not all over the place and we know exactly what we're doing. Um, but it, I was nervous because. There's probably nothing worse than playing a song to 15,000 people that don't know the song that you're playing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Literally, I've had 15,000 people standing in front of me with a camera just gone. <laughs> and blank <laughs> stares. <laughs> and I, I, that was a bit odd, but what, I was fine then. Which is obviously the complete opposite of the One Direction shows, where you can perform anything or do anything and everybody knows what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. I was, uh, To be honest, I was expecting it to be... Obviously, it's not going to be as crazy as 1D, so yeah. I just kind of have to... I was expecting that. But yeah, it was it was a little bit odd playing the song for the first time. But it's a good song. Everyone was up dancing, even though they didn't know it. And um, it's good to move to. I have a feeling that you're a little bit of a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. Do you, are you your own worst critic? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So when you before you release a record, how many times are you soaking that baby in? <laughs> Slow hands... My manager is probably laughing over there. <laughs> we well, we did about we went through about ten or fifteen mixes of it before we, wow. and we were just listening back and forth. And before we released it, we were, it was very um, yeah, it was very tedious. But but, but that's the process. Yeah, that's just what it's about. It's probably the most mixes I've ever listened to ever. <laughs> but it was it was fun, and uh, yeah. But there's a different responsibility attached to this music than any of the music before. Yeah. These are, I mean, before you had a child, and it was your child, but you shared that child with other dudes. Yeah. You know, now this is this is your own it's baby. Like three men and a little baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now there's only one guy yeah. and a baby. <laughs> and it's solely yours, and you got to take totally responsibility for it. Yeah, I'm it. a single dad. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like the solo life? It's been great. Um, yeah. yeah, it's been different, obviously. Mm -hmm. Like the other night in San Diego, I said... This is my new single, or this is our new single, Slow Hands. <laughs> and you just like, there are things that you don't think about. No. Because you got so used to it. It's yeah, like muscle it's like, memory. Yeah, the muscle, it literally, literally is. Uh. So it just kind of happens without, you know, you say things without thinking. Yeah. And it just happened. And then I was like, <laughs> like you're an idiot. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, um, it's different. It, but it's like, it's a lot quicker, you know, we don't have to like, Shepherd everyone around, you know. Was yeah. a, we, had, there was, we had a lot of people with us all the time, so now it's just me in a car and turn up with a guitar around my neck and play and leave. It's very natural, I, I you know. It's it, even when you were here performing, just the fact that like it was just you, your friend on a cajon. Mm -hmm. Who, by the way, like watch the performances that he that Niall did here. Your friend's face in these performances are just <laughs> they're real. Like, yeah. I could describe what it looks like he's doing. <laughs> And it's a combination between a sexual act and like starting yeah. his day. Yeah. And it's, it's <laughs> starting his day. <laughs> Someone just said there that he sounds like he looks like a fish coming out for air. <laughs> <laughs> coming I up. see that. Yeah. yeah. He's probably out there just going, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Jerry's Jerry's a friend of mine. He um he he's played he actually played the last few years with James Bay. He's oh, like, wow. him and James are good friends and they they've toured together for the last few years. Um so he was like, James is obviously not doing anything at the minute apart from writing and stuff. So yeah. he was like he was like, if, you, if you're putting a band together, give me a shout. And he pulled the band together and we did auditions and stuff like that. And we've, there's more than us, he, but it's great. And he was a guy leading the band with the faces. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But you get into it too. You close your eyes. You get real deep. Yeah. What do you think about? Are you thinking about the next lyric or are you... Just don't mess up here. Yeah. I was, <laughs> because my voice is a bit tired this morning. 
as you can probably tell. I, nobody um, can tell. I think that's you saying. I mean, it's I heard it. But I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, at least you're honest. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was just thinking. Um, yeah, I was just thinking. Try and control it here. Control it here. Relax. Take it easy. Because you can over sing. Can you? Sure. Yeah. And just uh, mess it all up for everyone. I, Start cracking and. Uh, I thought it was beautiful, man. Thanks, bud. Okay. I want to get into uh, life a little bit here, right? There's obviously a huge change yeah. going from band to being solo. Mm-hmm. Uh, we covered that a little bit. I, I want to know, like, what was the first time you realized your life was going to be different forever? <laughs> I don't what? know if there was ever a, p- a particular time. I guess to the public, it blew up like one day, just like, mm. and it went, and it happened. It seems like it happened really fast. But when you're when you're in it every day. It feels a lot slower. At the same time, it feels like it's quick. Yeah. But I don't think there was any particular time where I thought, I don't know. I guess coming over here was quite a big deal. Coming to, coming to the States was like we went on the tour with Big Time Rush. Yeah. Which, by the way, that was really the One Direction tour. Ah, well, yeah. it, was actually, it was their tour, but we, no. we, were, we were there and, <laughs> and we just tagged along. And then the, then the venue emptied after you guys w- went on. Like well, you guys would go out into the lobby or whatever. Yeah. I remember at Radio City and... It would just be vacant. Well, I had begun by then, so I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it was sad for the other guys. Um, no, nah, they were great guys. And then coming over, uh, coming over here in general was great. And then uh, the time I thought we're onto something here was the day our first album went number one. Mm. And um, we, yeah, because we were mm. the first band, you know, from the UK or Britain or Ireland or wherever to, to debut at number one in, in America. And... It was just a bit of a shock to the system. I remember getting a phone call. We were all waiting. We were, we'd like, so we were sitting down signing like four thousand copies to give away at the stations, and you know to make sure that everyone got the album and yeah. tried to help us to number one. We were doing everything. We'd all did like fifty phoners each on the phone. Oh. You know, we were doing it all, and then we got it. And I was on the way to Madison Square Garden to watch a basketball game, and we jumped out of the taxi. Taxi driver kicked us out. It was <laughs> me and a friend of mine were in the taxi. And we started screaming and shouting in the car, so he kicked us out onto the street. And I guess that was the moment. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, that was the moment where... <laughs> Seventh seven, seven Avenue looked a lot different. <laughs> I was walking down it. Um, wow. But yeah, it was that, I guess that was the day. Also, there was a couple of things, like the VMA is the first year we went to it. Yeah. We won three awards that night, which was I mean, mind-blowing. But, like, like yeah. It was just, I can't even fathom it. How do you stay grounded after all that? Or do you not? I, 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 well, I try my best. Um, or do you have to reach a certain level of not being grounded for you to realize that I got to go back down? No, nah, you just like, we, we all had each other. Yeah. We're with each other every day. We had a good team around us all the time. Most of them are here. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we just found it easy. Like, I think it's because we had a childhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we had up to 16, 17 years old. So we didn't have to overthink it. We just went out there and had a good time. I guess it is easy to to lose your head a little bit and that's why I feel sorry for the people that do because yeah. they're on their own they don't have the the people with them all the time and stuff and now I mean One Direction has kind of groomed you for what you're the journey you're currently on like the, the next chapter in your life mm-hmm. yeah. right? because one you experience all of that from before you yeah. learn from it and now you're kind of ready to be an adult and take it all on your own yeah it's crazy that I'm only 23 that's the maddest part <laughs> there's so much time left <laughs> gotta make this work yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was um it like I'll, i know i know how the industry works yeah i know what i have to do you know i want to do it um i love making music and it's it's kind of in a way easy for me you know in terms of like just going and doing it you say easy, but it didn't really... It, music was always in your life from a very early age. Mm. Did you really teach yourself how to play guitar yep. on the YouTube, on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah? You got, your, <laughs> your brother got a guitar. He yeah. didn't want it. Yeah. Gave it to you. Yeah, it was a little Spanish thing. Yeah. <laughs> little nylon string. Do you remember the first song you were actually able to play and show off to uh, people around you? Everyone goes for Wonderwall by Oasis. That seems to be like <laughs> yes, the song. That, that is it. <laughs> it's easy to play. I'm assuming it's easy to play. Yeah, it's like E minor, G, D, C. Or exactly. Something. Where are your yeah. parents, like, how are they involved in your life now? Yeah, just, to, well, obviously I don't get to see them a lot. Yeah. But, like, and I'm away a lot. Um, so I was doing up, my, I had a house, I got a house here. And I was doing it up and I don't want them to come and see it until it's finished. Oh. So it was like, it was like a whole refurb thing that I was doing. Why is that like a big deal? Do you want them to Again, see? It's a perfectionist thing. That... Until it's perfect, I don't want anyone coming near it. <laughs> so they can come over now. That's your invite. There you go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and when I go back, I'll go and 
try and get to Ireland and stuff like that. Cool. Did mm-hmm. you go back to Ireland to record the album? No, I did. I, what? I, I did. I know. <laughs> well, Irish <laughs> flavor in there. You, you got to get back there. I, I wanted to. I wanted to. My producer was from Nashville. Okay. And the deal, the deal was he would come here to LA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I recorded it here in one of the best rooms around. And the, yeah, it was, that was a completely different process itself. I never recorded like that. Full band, full, you know, big room, all the big studios and stuff like that. I've never done it like that before. I loved seeing the whole progress on Instagram, by the <laughs> way. It was really cool. I mean, and you're right. There was real instruments. It was a real recording process. Mm. You're You're playing guitar in the entire album. Yep. Do we have a release date on this album? Not as much. Yeah, I'm hoping like uh, autumn heading into winter. Okay. Definitely before Christmas. Yeah. And you have you have records done for it already, obviously. Yeah, the whole, it's finished. It's all done. Yeah, I finished it the other day. Now I have to go and you know sit with producers and listen to the kind of mix and stuff like that. So what are we waiting on? Are you? Is it you being a perfectionist? I'm, I'm waiting on working this single. <laughs> okay. I'm going. I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling. Um, you know, doing promo with this, doing all the TV shows, all the interviews around the world. Um, so I'm going to be, that takes up the summer. Yeah. And then by the end of the summer, I'll be ready to go again. Are you going to take the album with you, soak it in on the road? Like listen to it? Yeah. Ah, well, I always listen to it anyway. Constant. Yeah, just to make sure that we have, we got it right. A couple of things I'm changing at the minute, so I'm... Really? Yeah. Like couple of, what? A couple of drum sounds, things here and there that I'm not happy with. Um, mm. But yeah, I have, I have, don't worry. Is it fun being in the studio, calling all the shots instead of somebody like bringing it to you and be like, "Hey, this is what you're recording today"? Yeah, it was great. That that part was great. Um, like, in fairness, like we were very heavily involved at One D, but we also were, were busy touring at the same time, so there was a lot we couldn't do. Yeah. Um, which, the I think what was on my side this time was was time. Mm-hmm. You know, when I said, I said to the, you know, when the label signed me, and you know, I'd obviously had chats, you know, previous to that with management. You know, they they. Ca- I kind of said it to them, like, give me time, I'll kind of let you know when I'm done, type thing. And then go. And then go. Because there was a period before Christmas where I thought I was done. And then I started, I wrote Slow Hands in January or February, and then and I started writing some good stuff, and then I went through a period of bad stuff, and it, you go, like, that just happens. And, and yeah, I, I'm glad I kept going, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> so as of this, December, how many songs did you have ready to go that you thought were ready? Uh, I probably had written... 20 or 30 by then. Wow. And what sparked the new creative? I don't know. I just went into, I had one or two sessions left. Okay. And then I just went in and I'd written a couple of good ones in a row. And I was like, no, I need to keep going. And it was good. It was good. Like, um, you think it's over and then it's not over. (laughs) So maybe it's not over yet. It's never over. Oh. Are you still writing right now? No, I've I've stopped writing. Okay. I've kind of, I'm kind of, I'm done with being in the studio now. Yeah. They're long days. Like, they're like 11, 12 hour days. Seeing the same people in the same smelly room. Mm. Like Creatively a, draining. Same. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of listening. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there is a, there's a lot of, um, yeah, there's a lot of sitting around and listening to the same tedious, like if your f- finger moves on a string and you hear that, like, we want to get rid of that. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Jakir, the, my, Jakir King, my producer, it was just like so tedious on the tiniest little things like that that we would go and do the same thing again but you need to yeah those little things make a difference it was it was it made it definitely made a difference but to care never again man <laughs> <laughs> well you were uh, moving forward do you think you have a, a, a group in the studio that you're comfortable with and this is your consistent crew yeah 100 percent cool um, you know there was some i was doing a lot of sessions with people that i'd never worked with before and sometimes when you don't work with people before it can be a little bit uncomfortable or you can't you know i've got like a hundred things I want to write about. Some of them I don't want to talk to, talk, um, talk about with people that I don't know. Yeah. So I ended up coming back to, like, Julian and John Ryan, who who did um, all the 1D stuff, who were best friend, who I'm best friends with. They know you. So it was easy for me to sit down and write some of my better songs with them. It's like changing up a therapist. They know everything about you. <laughs> changing up a therapist. It's true. I don't have one of them, but... Um, well, you but, write songs. It's uh, just okay, as good, I think. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Splurging it all I'm out. actually currently looking for a therapist. <laughs> right. so if anybody out there is looking for clients... You can come over and talk to me. I'll chat to it. Th- will you help me? I- I'll write an album, a concept album, about your life. Dude. Oh, that'd be scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be dark. It's going to be weird. You don't want to do that. <laughs> I think that could be a project one day, though. Uh, will, blind- will Blonde Nile ever rise again? 
Um, I, got, I keep getting asked that. I yeah. feel like that's the general consensus that I should. Actually, I do miss the blonde. But I think I just got bored of every month having to go and Diet? sit there for like three hours. Ugh. It's just like... Waste of time. pain, yeah. So it's just like, might as well just leave it the way it is. Whose idea was blonde to begin with? Mine. I did started doing it when I was like 12 or 13. Oh, wow. So 10 years is a long time eh. putting that crap in your hair. This is a mature look. I like this. Thanks. I like the brown. <laughs> Thanks. It's good. So you always say that One Direction is going to get back together one day. Do you actually believe that? Yeah, 100%. We're never going to be as successful on our own as we were at One Direction, and we all know that. What? And by the way, that's a really intense thing to understand and come to terms with, right? Uh, it's kind of there. It's pretty black and white, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll do all right there. <laughs> yeah, I think we're, you know, we're, all, we're all having a great time doing what we're doing at the minute. Yeah. Um, everyone's you know, doing their own thing, having a bit of a laugh. You know, Harry's, doing it. Harry's got his movie out. You know, Louis's doing his thing. Liam's just about to bring out a new song. Do I'm doing mine. What is this Liam Chain thing? Like the chains. He's and just the- been um, wearing these like big. I, you should you should wear this chain. I swear to God, <laughs> it's like weighs like heavier than this whole rig. Here. <laughs> wearing that chain would make me a man. Yeah, I'd actually be honest. Honestly, he's going around. And he looks like Brock Lesnar, the wrestler. You know? <laughs> he's walking out with the biggest shoulders. He's been carrying this. Uh, I the- seen him the other day. And he was like putting it on me, and Jesus. that's crazy. Has there always been a gangster swag side to him? He's always like. Got that. He used to wear like handkerchiefs hanging out of his pockets and <laughs> stuff like that. Dope. He's always had that little bit to him. It's been gradual. Started with the handkerchiefs, now it's at 10 pound <laughs> chains. Wow. Um, yeah, so he's, uh, everyone's good. So everyone's just having their, their own good time at the minute. And then yeah. whenever it comes, it's going to happen and it's going to be big, I'd imagine. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you've spent money on? I'm pretty, I wouldn't say I was stingy, but I'm pretty like. I don't, I don't feel like I need to spend it. Okay. Mm. You want to sit? Yeah. Do you invest? Yeah. yeah. Make more, there. spend less. Yeah. And uh, just kind of like, I don't, I don't like, I don't need an extravagant life. You so. DD. I've seen like photos of you like driving your friends to the bar around town. Like you don't yeah. even get like, you do. You're very humble. Yeah. I'm easy going. It's I nice. Don't, I don't need all, all of that kind of stuff. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I, we're getting wrapped. I had a whole conversation ready to go, but this was beautiful. <laughs> Ask more, go. No, we, we got to wrap. Mother's Day was good for you, though? Mother's, it's not Mother's Day where we're from. So what? So I just went and said Happy Mother's Day and, and as well, and she was like, oh, that's two in one year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so our, our one's in March or something like that, so I, I kind of missed the boat on that one. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, all good. Okay. How do you start your day? Uh, this morning... Had a shower. Nice. Um, listen to music in the shower. Yeah. What do you listen to now? Well, I wish I hadn't said I listened to it in the shower now because it sounds weird. But <laughs> your own <laughs> stuff. I'm, I'm big into um, um, Marin Morris at the minute. Oh, oh nice. Mm. Country. Yeah. I enjoy her. She's really unbelievable, and that voice is insane. What What are we thinking here? Like, is there maybe a collaboration? Like, if you like somebody and you you like their their vibe, will you reach out to them? We have to go and ask the questions. Yeah. I guess. That'd be great. I would love that. Um, Let's put that out into the I went universe. to I went to watch her. Uh, I went to watch uh, that festival sound sta- or stage or stagecoach. Sorry, soundstage. Where did I get that from? <laughs> um, and I went to watch that, and she was playing at it, and it was phenomenal. Wow. And Shania Twain. Mm-hmm. And Willie Nelson. He's pretty sweet. He's got this like hole. Have you ever seen the guitar he plays? What? He's got this like hole in his guitar. He's he's played it that much over the years that it's actually bored a hole. Oh wow! And it's. Feels like it's about 100 years old. Is that like a goal like for him? you now? That's great. That's what I'm going to like. I want to play my guitar. <laughs> you got to play guitar so hard. <laughs> Hit the guitar so hard that I'm going to put a hole in it. But yeah, we'll that was cool. Willie Nelson. So I'm a bit, I'm, bit, I'm bit into the country thing at the minute. Okay, cool. Because we don't have your don't country music no. over there, apart from like the ones that traveled like and make Garth it. Brooks and Shania Twain Yeah. Um, and a couple of others. But apart from that, we don't. So I'm getting into it now. Thomas Rhett. He's mm-hmm. great. I like Thomas Rudd a lot. Yeah, he's great. He's yeah. a really nice guy. Maren Morris. All those guys, yeah. You call like people lovers later. in real life? I kind of do it like, it's like a, oh, I love us. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's like, oh, mate. Hello, lovers. All right, lovers. Do you have one lover? I don't. I'm single. Yeah, very single. Very By choice? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, do you have an album? That's what I'm going to say anyway. <laughs> I get it. Do you have an album name yet? Oh, I don't, but I'm... Thinking about all of them kind of things now. What the things, what the album cover is going to look like. What the my logo is going to look like. What the the name is going to be. What the stage is going to look like. It's all theories are all things that are going on. But it's all yours. 
Yeah. Right. Which is great. I want to. I want my shows. If I when I do shows, I want sh- my shows to be more like gigs than shows because I've done the shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've done every show that you know you can think of. <laughs> I've, I've had the biggest stages, so it's time to kind of take it down a little bit. And, Intimacy is key. Yeah. Cool. So I'm glad. Are you a competitive person? Competitive with myself. Okay. Like I'm. It's the best way to be. Yeah. Like we're all in. Everyone is in it together. Yeah. In the music industry. So I don't have to. I don't feel the need to have to compete against them. Which I think we're, is. We're a, all making different types of music as well. Hopefully. Yeah. But now I hear around town that you're bringing back folk, and people now want to go folk. You know. Well. You set the tone. Come. Come, <laughs> come on over. Everyone make folk music. Let's do it. Come with me. That's the point. It's the point of folk music. Yeah, right? exactly. And you do have really cool friends. You and Haley Seinfeld. I saw that on Instagram. Oh, uh, Haley. She's a legend. She's, she's a good egg. She's a legend. She is the funniest person I know. Right. She's great. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. good. Niall Horan, thanks for hanging out. Thank Jack Sang, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. There you go.